announce everybody tomorrow uh, evening there will, will won't be a meditation class i have something i have to do so uh the next class will be on wednesday so please everyone try to work really deep inside we'll have a meditation class and then if there are any questions afterwards i'll be happy to try to answer them i have a question you would like to ask Does anyone have a question? And I can understand, you know, these classes are getting so strong that I can barely talk after them. I think it's something to cherish, you know, it's kind of a strange manifestation of spiritual energy, these classes the way they've come about, how they've taken place, how strong they've gotten, how people that are constantly coming are growing, you know, in their lives, they really, I can see them right in front of me changing in their lives. And I think that in itself is a great miracle. It inspires me to come and do this. Does anyone have a question they would like to ask? I mean, Rudy once told me that the, ult the ultimate dialogue is between oneself and God. And I think it's a very profound truth because ultimately, you know, uh, we all have to arrive at a state where we either have spent our life doing deep spiritual practice of some sort, and we're free of, you know, karma, the samsara, the illusions of life, and we can finally move on to another plane of consciousness. That's the dialogue between each and every one of us. And, God, spirit, higher energy, whatever one wants to call it. We certainly, when we're in our minds, we have some strange dialogue with ourselves. <laughs> it's very bizarre interaction that takes place. But clearing the mind, allowing ourselves to be a vehicle for spiritual energy transforms the dialogue, it changes everything. I mean, there's no neurosis in that diet, there's no anxiety, we don't have to defend anything. Just open, receive higher energy and let it really work on us. Does anyone have a question they would like to ask? 
I do, Stuart. It's Christine. Uh, the last uh, two or three days have been rough taking care of my brother, and I didn't want to do much because I wasn't sleeping. I was, you know, every two hours caring. And a voice, really strong voice, told me to get up Friday morning and just do something physical, like go do yoga or do something. And I really fought it, but I felt better. And the same thing Saturday, I just was on the floor and I, this Christine, voice said, voice. get up. So <laughs> that voice that told me to get up. I feel like that was God speaking to me. Good. And Good. it pulled me up out of a very. Good. What's the question? <laughs> You're asking me if that was God? <laughs> <laughs> it's a higher force. Could have been one of God's helpers, you know, coming and getting you to get up and start living your life. You know? Look, when you do this work, they watch out for you in the cosmos, these higher energies. You know, in Tibetan Buddhism, there's thousands of them. You know, every, you know, every you know, Bodhisattva has 500 different varieties. You know, every god has, you know, I mean, it's incredible. Hinduism has the same thing. And all of these deities, all of these energies, we can call them energies and not deities. They work for us if we're open. If we're not open, they don't work for us. And it doesn't mean celebrating Ganesha's, you know, uh, one day a year celebrating, you know, Ganesh. You know, it means that we are open every day. And there's always some force in the cosmos that's going to come to us and give us a good kick in the butt and get us working nurturing us, providing profound spiritual energy that can guide our life. It's up to us, you understand? I keep getting back to that all the time. You get according to what you give. Exactly. You know, whatever you, energy you invest in your development of a spirit, that's what comes back to you. And if you take it for granted and you just assume and you live in some kind of black hole there, you know, where you think, oh my God, you know, I can do it in two weeks, a month, a year, I got this, I got that. It never comes because you're not making a system inside that is strong enough to receive it. This is extremely powerful energy. You need a system inside that can absorb it, that can take it in. And the wonderful thing about a system like that is when it interacts in the world, it interacts from the heart chakra. So there's love, there's sweetness. You understand? I always go, it's like incense. You know, you burn incense and you get this sweet sandalwood or whatever flavor that comes. And it's the same thing. That fire inside, you know, creates sweetness. It burns all the bullshit. It's in a person that really creates problems with everybody in themselves. Does anyone else have a question? Thank you, Stuart. You're welcome. Okay, so I, I won't be teaching tomorrow, but I will have a class on Wednesday. So God bless you all. And thank you. And I mean, I know it's not easy, but what's easy, you know? You understand, you know, sitting around doing nothing is easy. And that makes everybody crazy. But it's, it's not easy, this work. It's not easy. Any kind of spiritual work isn't easy. Any kind of anything that is real and creates and builds, it's not easy. But if we do it, we create a system that allows us 
to be nurtured by higher energy in the universe. Okay, then I will see everybody on Wednesday. Bless you all. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Stuart. Stuart.